Hello, Clutter Warrior. Today we're going to talk about five things you can do super quick to fall back in love with your spaces in honor of Valentine's Day. So uh, instead of just focusing Valentine's Day on romantic love, I thought it would be fun to think about how how we can rekindle the love affair with our spaces that we probably had when we first moved into them. And then, of course, we just allowed the blush to fade, and pretty soon we just piled a bunch of crap up in our spaces, and we were no longer making our spaces the object of our affection as much as making them the, uh, the carriers and, and uh, repositories of all of our deferred decisions. So let's rekindle that love affair today and, uh, and get ourselves started. So the first thing that you can do is decluttering. And of course, I'm not talking about a global decluttering. I'm looking for low hanging fruit. What is laying around that you can easily clear off of a surface? Where is there junk mail that just hasn't been processed, that hasn't even necessarily been put in the recycle bin, right? Have you just uh, absent-mindedly dropped your keys or your mobile phone on a counter and kept walking. What is out that doesn't need to be out? What can get put away? How can we create some quick movement and a quick win in our spaces without exhausting ourselves or setting ourselves up for failure or uh, overwhelm? I say set your timer for 15 minutes max and just do a marathon and just a 15 minute marathon and run around the spaces and see what you can do to quickly make some mo momentum and some movement for yourself. Remember, failure breeds failure, success breeds success. This way we can get a quick win under our belt and keep moving. Beyond that, once you've done that, anything that you can easily let go of, that's step two, right, or item two, what can you easily let go of now that you've scooped it all up? Again, is it junk mail? Is it, is it something that you've been meaning to drop off at the thrift store, the secondhand store, give to a friend, donate to a charity, and you've just been, there's been a bit of a log jam or a bottleneck there? Go put it by the front door of your home and get it out. The next time you go to run errands, make sure that that becomes a part of it. Bonus points for putting it in your car or in your tote getting on your bicycle or walking down the block, putting it in your rolling basket and dispatching it today, right? You'll get, you'll get extra bonus points for that. <laughs> then let's look at any uh, fixes or repairs that need to be done, again, that you've been procrastinating. As we know, as we've discussed in the past, or even on this podcast, we've discussed that clutter is nothing more than deferred decisions. So with that in mind, often these unfinished projects that need to be fixed or repaired just end up laying around and there's inertia builds up around them. So this is an opportunity to look at those things and pull them forward. Put them on your to-do list if they're not yet on their, your to-do list. If they're just swirling around in your head, pre-to-do list, let's get them on the to-do list. If they're on your to-do list already, let's get them on your calendar. Let's make an actual appointment with ourselves to dispatch these things and get them going. Again, if they involve a third party, like you need to have the chairs reupholstered and you're not going to do it, let's get them to the reupholsterer. If it's a pair of trousers or slacks that need to get hemmed and you're not going to hem them, let's get them to the dry cleaners or to the tailors to get that done. If it's a book, uh, uh, something that you need to return to Amazon and the, w the clock is ticking, you only have 30 or 45 days to get it back to, to where you bought it, Amazon or wherever, let's get it out of the house. So let's make that item number three to tick off our list. The next thing we can do is some easy home touch-ups. It's so easy to let grime build up on light switch covers and the edges of doors and near door handles. A quick scan of your home and you'll see where it just it gets gray and dirty relatively easy and it, it doesn't it's not a reflection on you that you're a poor housekeeper or that your hands are filthy i live alone <laughs> and i still see it on my door jam i see it on my light switches it's just it's just the nature of life in, in indoors so you don't need to bring a lot of story to it. You don't need to bring a lot of upset to it. You don't, no shame, no guilt about it. Just get some cleaner out and a, a washcloth, a rag, and touch them up. And you'll get a quick win. Also, uh, if you do have marks on the walls, 
easy, um, easy, uh, what do they call them, magic erasers, a great thing to do if you don't want to actually do get out the paint and touch it up. A magic eraser will often make uh, smaller mars and scuffs on walls disappear. And if you actually do want to book some time over a weekend and repaint some trim or uh, touch up a wall where something happened that you can't easily scrub away with a magic eraser, that's another thing you can do. The last thing, which I love to do, because visually you get a big win out of it and it doesn't take a lot of time, is corralling your cables. Digital hardware is ubiquitous. It's everywhere in our life these days. We're not going to get away away from it. But what we can do is just easily corral those cables, tidy them up. You can use uh, everything from the twist tie that came with it when it came to uh, looping it together and then wrapping the cord around it, or even an old bread, bread twist tie, depending on how visible the cord's going to be. Even if they're tucked behind furniture, it's nice to tidy them up because they're less likely to get snagged if you have to move a piece of furniture out of the way to dust or to vacuum behind it. You're less likely to unplug something and uh, get the wire that's loose snagged on something. It's also less likely to uh, capture dust bunnies when it's laying uh, spooled on the floor. So that's another quick win for you. So those are five things you can do easily within one hour total in your home to fall back in love with your spaces for Valentine's Day this year or any year. Declutter, let go of stuff, fix or repair broken items, do some easy and quick home touch-ups, and corral your cables. That is your homework today for Valentine's Day. Thanks for spending this time with me. I'll look forward to being with you again real soon.